stand up and look over the hedges. Now I've got my bar risers on, that definitely feels better standing up. Good morning, Kodge Biker here. And another thing I fitted, uh, really, really ummed and awed about it, but I need them. Um, just standing up now, you only see my belly button on that, no doubt. Yeah, it just feels better standing up. Not that I'm going to be doing much standing up on this bike, but it also feels better in terms of hand position. So I fitted 20 millimetre SW Motec bar risers. And this is how that went. I was really concerned about the cables. Good morning, Kodja Biker here. You may never see this, chances are you won't. Um, the cables on the 2022 CB500X very tight. I know people say you can pull them out of the guides and things. I don't want to do that. But I wouldn't mind a little bit higher bar. So I've got the minimum that I can find, which is an SW Motec bar riser. I tend to be well made for an SW Motec mat on this one. Um, it's just a 20 millimeter rise. That's uh, the instructiones, thread lock required, which is good to see. 35 newton meters according to that. Don't quote me on that, check your own uh, manual. So let's get those, see if they'll even fit. So I'm not going to go yanking on these cables and I'm not going to pull them out of the guide. So they either this will either fit or it won't. The one good thing is the whole cable assembly moves with the forks. So um, one side to the other doesn't make any difference to the tension in the cable, so that's one good thing. So if they will fit, it's not going to alter. This is probably just going to be a video for me. But, uh, got to remember this. It's a metal tank with lovely paint, but um, that makes it vulnerable. Drop screwdriver, whatever. So. Action. Lots of fingers. Caps rounds. Six millimeter. One. Two. Not over entirely. Three, four. All right, they weren't overly tight. All right, it's looking on here. I can't see any markings on the handlebars. Usually, there's some sort of markings on there, so probably just have to do it by eye. Right. So, plan is lift the handlebar out, move it forward. So I'm going to get another towel. But still. Generally fine with handlebars, it's, this bit's easy, it's getting them out of there. Oh look, they're ridged, so you know exactly where they go, that's good. Nothing to worry about. Right, so, okay, yeah, as expected, I'm not going to want to come out easily. Oh, there you go, one, one, two, okay, holding forward. And three bubble wrap. And I know people are going to say you can get those, uh, the Voigt ones that lift and come back, but I don't need that. I just want them up a bit higher. So 20 mil. I find in the past 20 mil makes more difference than you think. So the way it goes, SW Motec bit goes in there. For SW Motec both sides. I don't think there's any particular way around. Okay, now. Whether the handlebars will go back onto them or not, I don't know. I'm a bit apprehensive. I'm not going to pull these cables. Oh, so far that seems okay. Okay. Yep, 
seems to be okay. The the because it's a diagonal, it seems to that seems to be about the limit, but it seems to be okay. I'm more positive now about that than I was before. Thread lock, as per instructions. Not forcing it, just letting them fall into the hole. A bit more. You feel it, it's all a bit like a platform shoe, it's a bit, you know, it just needs to move about a bit until it's in the right place. I'm going to set that level, I'm going to go off the level of that, set it that way. Cables are still okay, everything's all right. It's no tighter than it was before. So it's amazing, you can find 20 mil sometimes where you didn't expect it. And I just know there's people there freeze framing it and checking everything, that's fine. You do your bike, you do it your way. I never present my videos as being how to do's, they're just what I do. This is my video diary. People are, there's a lot of people, keyboard warriors, want to give you great big missives on how to video things and how to do stuff. And I'm thinking, this is for me, this is my record of my hobby. You know, I was say, if it's of use to anybody else, good. But mainly, it's an aid man wife when I come to take all this stuff off, which undoubtedly I will do at some point. Anyway, just gradually working them down. Gradually. Have a little look, what do you think? Yeah, this one here is a little bit I just noticed. Add the caps. One, two, three, four. Just looks a bit more adventurous to me. There we go. Cables are fine, they're not too tight. No. There's enough give in there because it all moves together anyway. There's lock to lock. Throttle cable's moving all right. It's the only one that's free to move really. So yeah, that seems to be okay. I suppose I'll find out when I go for a ride. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so that's the 20 millimeter bar risers. I know you can get the Voigt ones, which are 20 up and 30 back I think but I don't really need those I just wanted it's the handlebars a little bit higher and they just feel great now for me uh, it might be I've been accused of having short arms and deep pockets in my time but my arms aren't really that short so I don't really need them to come back it sits nicely where they are now just uh, enough bend in my arms before I felt like I was stretching too much so 20 mil that's enough for me it's amazing what just under an inch can make isn't it oh insert your own crap joke crunch biker is out first time ever 7,000 revs <laughs> nice to have a running bike 